Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mimi Edutains, a perfect mix of education and entertainment. I'm your favorite host, Hamida Ahmed Ishmael. Today we are joined by a very special guest. We have Hikma Sweets us. She is the podcast host of Sweet and Sour Pod and I personally enjoy her podcast because she helps me as a student to be a better version of myself and everything academic and personal life. If you need such podcast as a student, you should definitely check out her podcast because she centers around that. And yeah, basically, welcome Hikmat and thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's really an honor to be here. Hello everybody. I hope everyone is doing amazing. I hope everyone is having fun or irrespective of what's happening, I hope we're all good. And even if we're not good, we'll definitely be good at some point anyway. So yeah. thank you. <laughs> I, I wanted to ask your podcast with Ansa. I don't know, is it like a meaning like to it? Because I know that oxymoron bitter sweet. So like is it like a deep meaning to it? Uh I kind of like get asked this question a lot, but then I think um, initially when I wanted to start, I just wanted a name that kind of like um, encapsulate what life is and Thanks. maybe you want to use um, bitter sweet or something. I just thought sometimes, yeah, life can be sweet and then sometimes life can be sad. You get... Make <laughs> Because personally, my podcast name is Mimi Entertains, right? Some people ask me, like, Mimi Entertains. I'm like, there's That's no me. specific thing. It's just, I'm just trying to teach you guys one or two and make you guys laugh in some cases, like education and entertainment. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, um, we're going to be talking about procrastination. That's a very big thing as students, not even like, let's even forget our day-to-day life as students. I feel mm. like that's what everybody struggles with in every mm. aspect of their life even before we had this episode planned out it took me a whole like lot of time <laughs> before i messaged you like, okay girl you just need to have this done and you know put this thing out for people to listen so i personally mm. feel like people who procrastinate is like an intentional thing what do you think i feel it's intentional because you know you don't want to do it at this point in time so what do you think about procrastination <laughs> uh okay so um basically definitely it is an intentional thing but i just feel like um for people it's just about like priorities do you understand and then Mm -hmm. how you're feeling your emotions at that moment and because um human beings were emotional beings right so you want to be the kind of person where you're like, okay, I want to smash my gold. I want to do da 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 <laughs> But there are days you're not feeling it. And it's totally fine not to feel it every time. But that that's where discipline comes in. Knowing sure. that you have done, irrespective of how or wherever your, your emotions are telling you at that point. I don't know if you get... Definitely yeah, it's I like do. a true thing you do. But then there are other factors that um, come into play. And you can't just like really, really rule out those factors as not important because on a serious note, they are important as human beings, they are. So are you trying to say that procrastination is more like an emotional thing rather than us being, like, us saying, oh, we don't have enough time. Like, we, people, most people say that, oh, it's lack of time management. But now are you trying to say that it's more like of, like, an emotional thing? No, I'm not saying, I'm not necessarily saying it's an emotional thing. Okay. I'm saying sometimes, like, Emotions do come in where, like, adapt. Okay, let me give let me let me give an instance where okay, you want to be this person where you're trying to achieve your goals, blah 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 blah, blah. and then okay, you're a girl and you're in that your you know that um premenstrual or postmenstrual phase Actually. where your hormones <laughs> and stuff like yeah. that. You that is what you 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 know you're supposed to be doing something, but you don't just want to do it. Like you're just feeling so uneasy, and it's like. like during that period where you're actually on your it's period tough. it's actually tough <laughs> i'm just saying that you know, as much as like we True. want to um we want to make we, we we know that like it's something we do uh like consciously and it's not supposed to be so and sometimes that we can't just help it like emotions do come into play and let's not ne- ne- neglect our emotions sometimes right like for human beings and 
you have feelings you get mm, yeah um so another another thing people say is that people who procrastinate they tend to be very lazy do you agree with that personally i don't i can procrastinate too but i feel like i'm not always lazy so do you agree to that Okay, the fact that I say you're not always lazy, you're still trying to that. Uh, okay, maybe you're lazy at times. <laughs> no, 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 don't get it wrong. <laughs> don't get it wrong. Me procrastinating does not mean I'm lazy. Do you get? Like, okay. and I'd be lazy to do something. Doesn't mean I'm naturally a lazy person. Because uh, I know this down. So you didn't even have to tell me. Me, I know I'm hardworking. But like a lot of people, <laughs> like I've heard people say, oh, you pro- and you procrastinate a lot. You are a lazy person. Like they just, they just conclude. Uh, well, well I'll, I'll say, I'll not say, let me not, I don't want, let me not hurt your feelings by saying, let me not drop into <laughs> By saying, um, vaccination translates into laziness. But, you know, um, in the world that we live in today, your ability to get a lot of things done, mm-hmm. you understand, on time, when it's supposed to be done, not when you feel like, do you understand? That's sure what can. makes you... <laughs> it's in, it's you, someone that's hard working so but if you're not saying well sometimes i'm lazy sometimes i'm not then maybe you are lazy <laughs> ah, no 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 that's not how it is but we'll leave yeah. it to be that actually we'll leave it to be that <laughs> um, you know i'm not saying let's just leave it at um you know people would always want people to like people would classify someone that's hard working as someone who is not resting so mm-hmm. you know you're, you're always on your tippy toes you're always you know drop like you're always beating the deadline you're always coming early you're always doing stuff when it's supposed to be done you're disciplined and you know you're, you're, you're like that hard drop that nobody's ever seen that okay you have emotions like every other person and so maybe that's why like people would always say that oh people who procrastinate are like lazy but it's, lazy. it's, it's actually when is actually so because um not now that, you're talking that, and don't you think so you're talking now <laughs> yeah because i know i know some people that are like um they do procrastinate like you know they don't procrastinate on everything there's something that they do procrastinate on and they're not necessarily lazy people honestly yeah true yeah. has there been any time like maybe you did procrastinate and you ended up regretting your actions like can you think of any moments because me i think i have a lot like this well i for, like right now i don't think i can really really remember right. or point out incidents that has happened like that maybe because mm-hmm. i'm like, more of a um I'm, I'm more wired to be like okay no for me personally even if i have things i want to do i have like my i have a scale of preference to know what is most important Important, yeah. so on my scale of preference if i'm able to so i do this kind of 80 20 rule if i'm able to achieve my 20 what is most important for me honestly even if i procrastinate on the rest of the things it wouldn't feel like it regrets because there's something that is more important than something so let me give you an instance now um I'm in school and I'm in med school and mm-hmm. there are times where see, even though I want to produce episodes for my podcast, I know that like med school yeah. is a bit self wants a lot of my time. Yeah. Eventually, if I leave med school, I would still have my podcast. But if I focus on my podcast, I can eventually lose med school. I don't know if you get <laughs> so, <laughs> Yeah, I do. I just have to know my I priorities. Think- and sometimes I really do try to find, ba- find balance. Uh, I, um, I'm always more focused on, like, okay, for example, even though I want to put out an episode, I, I'm already gingered. Now, I've, I think I've gotten to a point with my podcasting journey that I don't try to make sure that, oh, I beat the deadline. of If, if I want to put out something, I make sure that, okay, what I'm putting out is worth, like, worth, listening. Yeah. It's good mm-hmm. enough. I want to put it out just for putting out sake. Okay, yeah. yes, I want to at 1000 episodes by the end of 2024 no let the quality be there quality, let's like yeah that word quality listening at that point you understand i want to be able to give my best i mean okay no 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 my 100 percent. but at least let me let me do something that is good enough like that will be like okay mm. yes when i look to it in the next five years i'll be like okay yes this was this was good i don't know if you get so yeah, something like that to do rushing or racing with anybody it's just it's my race let me run it yeah, at my own pace have you, at your own pace everybody will still get there actually uh, yes yeah it makes sense to be very fair it makes so much sense 
so what like you said something about having like this 80 20 thing do you like have like a to-do list what do you usually do to actually prioritize your um activities well okay so um uh i feel like these days i've been a little disorganized but then let me just tell you like my normal what it normally is like for me Mm -hmm. so um, i kind of like have okay you know people set goals and okay what do i want to achieve that kind of thing and um in as much as i think i've come to realize in my life that i don't really like setting goals you know why because right. as, when i do achieve them then i mean i'm in a phase of okay what do i do next do you understand yeah they always put okay. Let's say, okay, let's say, okay i'm like okay i want to pass this exam once i'm done with that exam in med school I just have like a break of not knowing what to do next so i kind of like i don't know if every, okay definitely not everybody that listens to your podcast is muslim but since you're muslim I, my own my, my ultimate goal now like kind of like became okay in everything i'm doing let me just try to eventually my goal is eventually to enter jannah let me just go to jannah eventually so I, think, <laughs> was like a goal that I wouldn't achieve anytime soon until i die it was like a goal for like till, till, till i die that kind of thing <laughs> It wasn't like a goal of okay, let me pass my school and start thinking of what to do next. So now when I'm when I'm like writing, I, it's kind of like okay, this thing that I want to do is it going to help me with my end goal to enter Jannah? Okay, if it's going to help me, how do I do it? So how do I how do I now like arrange my schedule? Let's say okay, I'm trying to do something in med school. I'm having like tests or something like that. Okay, I'm like okay, this 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 this. I the eighty twenty rule is something like have a list of 10 things you want to do mm-hmm. out of one of those then on that 10 list let's say like now you want to um let's say like the attention you want to do i mean that's let's say the, the top thing you want to do now is um, read for your exam and record podcast that's the top two on your list then the other things you want to do is like wash the dishes uh go grocery shopping or like um maybe call a friend blah 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 blah, blah, blah like that like those things on your list yeah but your heart you know that like if you were eventually able to read that day maybe like three hours of reading and you're able to use one hour or two hours to record your podcast and you did not do the rest of the things you would feel more at ach- you feel more accomplished i don't know if you get i do honestly 100 percent is that 80 percent like there are two there is a 20 percent of th- like there's a 20 percent on your list that would account that would give you an 80 percent result then yeah if you win- combined together so if you had washed place gone grocery shopping did every other thing but eventually that day went by and you didn't read or you didn't record the podcast you would feel so down because like down you felt like you didn't really smash your goals you felt like you didn't really do anything like you didn't move forward you know you just felt so i don't know that's just what the 80 20 is guess. and that's how i feel I feel like i should try to incorporate that in my day-to-day thing because like since i finished school I will not lie. I have been being like a big time procrastinator. Like, okay, I want to do this thing. I was like, I'll be pushing it. It's okay, there's still time. I feel like I can still get it done. But I feel like if I do that eighty twenty thing, it would actually mm-hmm. make sense. It would actually make sense. Do you think we can actually eliminate procrastination from our lives, like totally? Is that possible? Well, is just, I feel like maybe if you are an individual that is very like you no have to be very, i don't feel like anything is impossible honestly i just mm-hmm. like it's just like it's it, it, it just like when you start to when you start to know what is important and what is not and if you feel it's important enough well like you not procrastinate if you are disciplined honestly sure. and there's some people that like no matter what their emotion like there's some people that do nine to five and yes of what their emotions is telling them they are always on their game and doing what they have to do and even though they're having their personal um you know oh, feud I'm... like that kind of like, like their personal fights or like you know personal battles that they're fighting they don't bring that kind of life into their work life so mm-hmm. i don't know if it's totally possible to eliminate procrastination because i don't think i'm there yet but i feel like you get to a certain point where you are so disciplined that it doesn't even, even you have when to you're get pro- that particular work done yes like you you know you get to a certain point that you know it, it's very very like very very good enough 
that kind of thing. I feel like you can get maybe 90%, 95 And maybe there are people who don't procrastinate. So if you listen to Amida's podcast and you don't procrastinate, you can tell us how you do it. And, yeah. you know. <laughs> I would create like a very open space on Spotify where you can always share, um, give us some tips on how to eliminate procrastination from our lives. I personally need it. I personally need it. But yeah. yeah. Well, sorry? I said we need it. People need it, honestly. Because, yeah, so. um, <laughs> okay, so what advice would you give to my listeners, our listeners who struggle with procrastination? Well, what advice would I give to people who procrastinate? I'll just say that, like, um, you know, I think one advice I'll always give anybody, whether it's on procrastination or not, is know who you are and what your values are and um honestly because in the world that we live in today if you don't know who you are people would teach you who you're not and you'd learn to become who you're not because you've not identified or you've not told people who you are or you've not told people how to treat you so like mm-hmm. like, stop, like honestly like don't stop putting your energy in others and focus on yourself learn about yourself study yourself like a course honestly because your biggest investment would always be in yourself nobody's going to ever save you like nobody, like seriously sure. i don't know what that has like so why would you like just start focusing on somebody else and like giving your energy to one person that doesn't even deserve it <laughs> sure <laughs> you know yourself know your values and then know what's important for you and then um try work hard try to stay disciplined at some point it won't be easy but you know when you keep falling you just rise back or rise back like, just fall down rise back you know don't give up and then if you are tired or more give up but then come back again <laughs> <laughs> i like that one <laughs> i like that yeah. one but at the end of the day the whole story is do not give up because if you do don't i feel like but, I feel like uh, like at the end of the day sometimes you have to I, I learned this some time ago sometimes you have to you know even though you're moving forward sometimes you have to take a step back step back go back Move to the drawing board what is wrong you have to take a really you know you have to like if you have to take like steps backward to see what people are like to learn and to move fast forward how you were moving before so mm-hmm. honestly do so don't even be afraid of failing because like everybody fails everybody does things that are not good anyway so even if you're procrastinating at this point just make a conscious effort that okay today you're not going to procrastinate and then just track your daily progress okay how do i make tomorrow better than today okay today, today i today i had five things i wanted to do i procrastinated on four okay i did one that's good enough the next week are you procrastinating on only three are you getting bad better or are you getting worse how can you like surround yourself with people that would help you it's just like that's what i'm saying focus on yourself focus on see when you channel channel your energy to yourself you would glow up all this skincare is not <laughs> focus on <your> <laughs> honestly that's my take that's my take Hamida. yeah i really really <laughs> appreciate it Thank you so much for joining us. Do you have any other thing you'd like to share with our listeners? Okay, just um, everybody should um, remember that like <laughs> it's always a great day to win no matter what's happening around you. Like, see, I feel like people like to blame people a lot, but then just know that like no matter, see, things are not going to change. Just like really try to change yourself, become a better mm-hmm. person. Person, like when you better, if everybody made a conscious effort to become better and be selfless, a little selfless, be kind to that. Like if you're a girl listening, just be kind to that girl beside you. Like you know, it doesn't hurt to tell her that she's beautiful. It doesn't hurt to like admire your fellow girl and just be there for your fellow girl. It's not. It's not a battle between girls to girls. It's never a battle. It's yeah, we need to learn that. <laughs> <laughs> women and men because everybody should just live their life in peace and not in pieces and you know listen to podcasts we pray if you're a muslim or a christian whatever just try to make heaven eventually Sha. that's my point <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
Anyway, thank you so much for joining us today. We really, really appreciate you. If you are new I'm to, like, sorry, my podcast. Listen to my podcast. If you're yeah. into, into <laughs> and tips, yeah, entrepreneurship, yeah, my podcast centers around that for students. You know, just check out if it's something. Check it out if it's something you like. You know, and then just listen to it. Anyways, thank you so much, Hamida, for having me. I'm really honored. I'm happy. Thank you. Where can we find your podcast, ma'am? Oh, oh my guy, everywhere. I don't even know. I don't know the limits. Spotify, <laughs> podcast, Google. In fact, everywhere. Like YouTube is even there. That's ha, it's yeah. everywhere. Oh, everywhere. so let me even mention. She was the one who kind of like, yeah. You, I messaged you to help me like with my YouTube, like transferring my podcast to YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She was the one who helped us out. I was a little bit lost at some point, but she made us figure it out. So thank you so much for helping us. I'm sure yeah. my listeners are happy that you know they get to know who actually helped us. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you. To my listeners, thank you for tuning in. Until our next chapter, stay tuned. Bye.